Baja California presents itself untamed and beautiful, cool but friendly. It seems that she's made out of God's hand. Baja means adventure, loneliness, heatness and fascination at the same time. And we can also say that Baja is a shining example that the desert is alive. Mainly while the aces of rally sport arrive. And that is what they do every single year. More precisely, for the last 40 years. But the Baja is unpredictable. Once you beat the Baja and once the Baja beats you. The Baja 1000 is the biggest part of the US Championship Off-Road Score Desert Series. Altogether, you can count on six courses. Armin Schwarz started one year ago with the old German auto team from Escondido, which is nearby San Diego. Everything started because of my long-lasting friend and partner Wilfried Eibach from Eibach Springs. Very quickly we visited a team in the States, in California, all German auto, and we decided to try it out. No sooner said than done. By now, 12 months are gone since the Eibach Springs cushioned Armin Schwarz Class 1 buggy in the truest sense of the word. It started up as, let us see what will happen, and ended up as a positive drug. It's no longer the idea of being part of the spectacle. It's more that in 2008 they need to win. Bacher's little sister asked for a high-speed ballet on 30 kilogram tires, one round which takes you 670 kilometers based on the theme, are you totally crazy? There are moments where you drive at full throttle for 15 miles through a dried up lake. And then you get in mushy parts. That takes you easy 30 minutes. After that you drive along an endless straight, come to a crest and afterwards you drive in first or second gear around a curvaceous boulder. That is a changeable character about the Bacher, but Bacher is also the prettiness of nature. Next to the elementary durability, strategy is one of the most important aspects. Armin's team starts from position 67, that means dust, dust, dust. Front window, negative, what's the point? The window would be broken after the first rock slide. 67. This also means get ahead of the rifles as fast as you can. But the big boys, driving in their trophy trucks, don't really like overtaking maneuvers. Their motors acquire their 850 horsepower out of 7 liters of cubic capacity. You don't need to blink, you don't need to honk, it's no use. So push the man in front, go for it. By dint of push bar, everybody gets rammed. It doesn't matter which adversary. In the end, the fastest driver gets through, and Armin is definitely one of them. The combination out of Armin Schwarz, Class 1 buggy and Iba Springs affords the overtaking of another 30 challenges. Survival training for human and machine. But the buggy gulps everything. Why? Because. On the damping concept, it is first the tire who takes the load, then a big spring, what we have here, and also a very big shock observer who has to observe everything. Here we have two springs on the car. One is covered a little bit lower here, it's maybe that length. And another one up here, one is giving you the traction, the other one is really helping on the big bumps. And you can see we have a nice cover here from Eibach because all the rocks are also flying onto the spring, so it needs to be protected. And all together you're getting close to like 60 to 80 centimeters of really real trouble, what helps the car a lot. September and again the desert calls, this time Nevada, near the player's paradise Las Vegas lies the prim. Nearly 300 miles in stifling hot air. The thermometer shows 43 degrees Celsius and everybody sits in fire resistant underwear and overalls in their flying boxes. The helmet is airtight and breathing air is pumped into it. 
so that nobody gets smothered in dust. That is our Bacher helmet. It looks almost like a normal helmet from the outside. He has a sealed visor, as it is used in Formula Racing. Stan 21, the producer, has invented something very special, namely a double sealing lip of foam rubber. And here you can see a lip that presses it to the visor. If one engages it here, the helmet is completely sealed and this is extremely important in order not to let any dust in. In addition, we also have visors like in motocross, because if you chase somebody and there is much rockfall on the visor or mud, you can simply tear off one layer. What is also very noticeable is the air connection. Fresh air is being pumped into the helmet via a compressor. There is pressure in the helmet and so the dust remains outside and, what is also quite important, one has always fresh air in the helmet so one can regenerate much better. So I might wonder what this skirt, this sort of mini skirt around the helmet is all about. That was placed in order to keep the dust out even at the bottom of the helmet. It is all well shielded. That way the helmet is kept clean by the pressure and the fresh air stays inside. Also something very special, which is very, very often used by the front passenger, the so-called frill, which will be placed in this way. The helmet can rest on it a bit, and I have much less pitch and tilting movements. And this is certainly also a security issue. In the cockpit, it is hard work. While the sweat is running, the bizarre and beautiful desert landscape passes by. You can feel brutal beatings in the car. You turn right into the mountains and you hate it because it simply leads you an hour in first gear on debris which makes you think somebody is constantly beating your helmet because you simply cannot keep it straight. It goes up and down. There are shots into the car. You must drive slower than you really want. And the thing really is that you need to control yourself like in no other race. To test such extreme circumstances, you need to try something unusual. For example, jumping over a four-wheel colleague, 25 meters, with a precision landing. The Shimko buggy and Alba Springs seem to master any obstacle. There are slopes going down almost vertical, and you think that this can't go well, but you can go even further. Because these cars have a lot of travel, a great chassis, and so you can simply jump off a two-meter platform and almost not notice it, as if you fell into a couch. At the terrible prim, Armin sets the pace again. After driving the first two stints, he reaches the sandy pit stop with change of drivers in first position in class one and third overall. Until here, anything is going perfect. Matthias Kahle takes over the futuristic looking 650 horsepower strong high-tech machine. He loses time and eventually the internal communication with his co-pilot. Fourth place, missing the podium again. Positive, all parts, except the intercom, withstand the marathon load. Engine, shock absorbers, springs, tires, gear unit, clutch and more. that survives in the heat of this place will endure anything. The Baja California, this hard to travel peninsula south from the touristy places of LA and San Diego is ignored persistently by the Mexicanian god of rain. Effect, sun all the time. It turns the sky in deep blue and dries out anything without mercy. Spanish conquerors gave it the name Calida Fornax, what means hard oven. This is an appropriate term. And hot is the technical scrutineering as well. 150,000 motorsport fools are yearning for anything on two or four wheels. Motorsport, just a touch away. It's an open secret of the success of the Bacher. Where else in motorsports can you come that near? The scrutineering itself just takes a few minutes. The road to it, 
is even longer. We stand still, wait and push the car since 12 o'clock, more than four hours. Already, after a few meters after the start, you leave the city into the endless desert. 450 participants take the challenge to the approximately 2,100 kilometers. At this time, no one knows that only 23 cars will see the finish line. The mother of all off-road races, the Bacher 1000, presents itself again as hard, but not heartily. Famous and notorious, rock around the clock. Armin Schwarz begins strong as usual. After approximately 60 miles, he only has a fistful of trucks in front of him. He leads his category and is on the way for the overall leadership. But then, he has bad luck. Power steering system, loss of wheel, clutch breakdown. Paying tribute, despite a perfect preparation. After only 166 miles, Armin Schwarz has to park his Class 1 buggy. The mood is not as it was before, understandably. The car went quite good. The speed was so good that after 40 miles, we already were first in our category and only six or seven trophy trucks were ahead of us. From the strategy, it would have worked out. Ifs, ends or buts do not exist in racing or in motorsports. And at the Bacher, not at all. Next year, the team will go for the whole season. Of course, with the support of Eibach Springs. A strong partnership wouldn't be torn apart because of the Bacher. Yeah, whether racing at the Rally World Championship, at Dakar or a Bacher 1000, uh, you always rely on the quality of the parts. Uh, I work over 20 years with Eibach Springs on the suspension side and uh, they are all on very, very good quality. You need a spring, what gives you the right comfort. It, it has to stay the same right height all the time. And this quality is between winning or losing. And for that, I drive over 20 years with Ibach Springs. 2008, six races, one aim, the first victory, the Bacher project, the last big challenge in off-road racing. I have an open account with the Bacher and I will settle the outstanding score in 2008. It's not that easy as it looks here at the poolside, but rather a very hard event. And such a small rock like the one behind me, we have every meter on the Bacher. See you at the Bacher 2008.